today uh, to deal with some of the issues and the questions that have arisen with respect to the digital tools that we're using for contact tracing. The first point is that good contact tracing is absolutely essential if we are to break this chain of transmission that characterizes this COVID-19. It enables us to quickly identify the patient, to provide treatment for the patient quickly, and to isolate them so that the patient does not infect other people. For everyone else who's not yet a patient, it is in our own interest to know quickly and early whether any of us have had close exposure to a patient who is COVID-19 positive. And because over the last few months, we have also discovered that peak viral load occurs early in the evolution of the disease. And in fact, there are cases, pre-symptomatic or asymptomatic cases of transmission. I can't emphasize enough the need for quick identification. And this is where the digital tools come in. It used to take us about two to three days of intensive laborious work to reconstruct an activity map for each patient. And you need to bear in mind that sometimes by the time the patient is in and our contact tracer is trying to interview the patient, sometimes the patient is not even in a fit state to be able to provide all the necessary information. But today, with the digital tools which we have made available, I'm glad to be able to report that it now takes us less than a day from the identification of a patient to issuing the necessary quarantine orders to that person's contacts. This reduction from two or three days to less than a day makes a crucial difference.